Today's date is September 2nd, 2019. I have 6,200, 990 miles on the bike. And we're about to take a dive into AMS oil. So, here in a little over a year, I guess we'll find out if this was a good choice or not. But there it is, the AMS oil motorcycle, metric oil, full synthetic. Um, I guess either it's going to be the best stuff ever or the engine's going to blow up or I'm not going to be impressed and go back to just a standard synthetic Rotella. Anyways, I guess a year from now you'll find out. Hi there, Clutch here from the Suak Motorcycle Blog. How you doing? Hoping everything is well with you. Everything's doing pretty good here. We're in October now, at least when we're shooting this video. You're actually watching this video right at the beginning of, or right at the end of October. So, kind of just wrapping up the se rain season and kind of getting ready to go. And one of the tasks I do, at least towards the end of the riding season, I usually do, as part of the process, I usually do the oil change. Well, 14 months, or would have been the beginning of last September, so about 13 months ago, I decided that I was going to run AMS oil in Geezer instead of just running just a standard Honda 1040. And I'd been thinking about this for quite a while, and finally I just decided, you know what, let's do it. A lot of it was I was walking around in runnings, and for those of you who don't know, runnings kind of are... It's kind of just, it's kind of a, I guess a north central part of this country kind of store. It's kind of one of those got kind of everything kind of stores. Uh, kind of like Menards with maybe less building materials and a little bit more expensive. But either way, they, I happened to be walking through one day and happened to see they had Amsoil on the shelf, the 1040 motorcycle. And it's something I've been thinking of for a while and I finally just said, okay, you know what? Well, let's try it, you know? Don't knock it till you try it, right? Now, normally, I'll run 8,000 between oil changes or so, and so that kind of factored into it. I like to run longer oil changes. The reason why I run 8,000 is because that what, that's what the manual tells me, and I know you, I know that the shade tree mechanics out there, you're smarter than every engineer that's ever worked for any company ever, but I'm kind of well as, you know what, Honda says go 8,000, guess what? I'm gonna go 8,000 because, well, let's be honest, that's easier for me. I only gotta do one oil change a season because I usually go about 8,000 a year. Well, there's some years where I go, you know, eight to 10,000 and I just, I wanted to see, okay, well, you know, what are we gonna do with this? How's it gonna feel? And my plan was at last year when I put in at the end, that I was gonna send an oil sample to Blackstone Labs. Last September, we poured it in. And at that time I took it for a ride and, you know, I didn't really notice a difference in everybody with Amsoil, they noticed they were like, oh man, the shifting was better overnight and blah, I'm like, I don't know, man. I I didn't really notice a, a I guess a huge difference in the shifting or the running temperature or anything like that. So I don't know if maybe it had AMS oil in it before, or what the oil was in it before. This is the first oil change I had since I uh, had picked it up. So I guess I have no reason to think that it wasn't running anything but the standard Honda. We changed the oil, we took the sample, and we sent off the Blackstone and their smart people there got to work promptly once they received it. Um, and so here was what we found out. So what's nice about Blackstone, and they'll send you this nice little, they'll send you a nice little report. And if you sign up for the email, if you put your email address on it, you get your report the day that they run it. Basically when they complete their report, you get in your email at the same time. So once again, we have Geezer 2, it's an 05, GL 1800. At the time I changed the oil, we had 71,415 miles on it. 
the oil had 8,416 miles, so I was a little bit heavy, longer on the oil change than usual. So here's what it said. Richard, the sample of Ann's oil did a great job in your Honda. Wear miles look good to universal averages, which show typical wear levels for this type of engine after about 5,300 miles of oil use. You kept the oil in place a little longer than the manual suggests, but that didn't bother anything we can see. Internal parts are working well together. No fuel or water contamination showed up, and the viscosity is on target for 10W40 oil. The TBN is strong at 4.7, so try up to 10,000 miles if you want. Excellent. I, I'll be honest with you, after reading that report, maybe there's something to this AMSOIL. Uh, maybe there's something to it. So, but anyways, so the report goes on and you get all these like fancy little numbers on the side. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Maybe I'll actually put this up kind of a little better shot of it, but they give you aluminum, chromium, iron, all these kinds of metals. Um, you got your, get your viscosity. Um, they'll give you what your value should be. Um, and I actually paid the, uh, the, so the oil change or so the oil sample is 30 bucks. I paid the extra 10 just so they could check out uh, if the additives were still good in it. I'm guessing that I don't get this little stuff on the bottom without it. Like they said, all the numbers are looking very good. So like, uh, for example, the TBN needs to be greater than 1.0. Mine was at 4.7. Um, everything you know, everything was still looking good. Let's see, what do we have for a water percentage? Water percentage was zero, like they said. I mean, you, like I said, it was a really good report. And like I said, I'm thinking maybe, maybe there is something to this AMSOIL. And honestly, I'm, I've always been kind of a, I guess you could call me kind of a skeptic. And I don't know if I'm really a skeptic. I'm more of a, I guess I'm a, you know, okay, I'll, I'll listen to what you're saying, but I kind of like to see the numbers and the raw data. And so by checking that report, I saw the numbers, I saw the raw data. And I, like I said, I think I'm definitely gonna stick with AMSOIL. Uh, part of me kind of wishes that maybe I would have started with, uh, you know, maybe Rotella or something a little cheaper when I was starting to do this test. But, you know, so far it's been running good for me. The numbers are telling a good story. Um, my plans with it is I'm still stick to a one, one oil change a year. So there's some years I will do 10,000 miles in a year and I really wanted to be able just to have, you know, an oil that I could just do, that I could change it in the fall and it's good till the next fall. So I could change it every October and be more good whether I got 7,000 miles on the oil or if I got 10,000 miles on the oil. Now this next time I may actually try to push it to 10,000. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I may get to next October and have 8,500 in and may chicken out and go ahead and change it again. But so now going back to Blackstone Labs, now I'm not paid by them. I'm not a spokesman for them at all, but I'll be honest with you. This is a very, if you want, if you want to uh, see really what your oil is doing and you know, there's a lot more to your oil than what it looks like. Cause I'll be honest with you, when you pulled the oil out of here, yeah, it looked like it was pretty dark and pretty used. You look at the numbers that no, it actually wasn't that used. So I did this sample so that I could get a good true picture of what the oil's doing inside my engine. Like I said, it's a, it's $30 for the basic, um, you add 10 bucks, it's $40 for the full, for the full, basically the full setup they check everything in it and this is for motorcycle gas engines obviously if if you got a semi if you got a piece of equipment if you got an airplane basically if you got anything i mean they do them for lawnmowers if you got anything that runs motor oil in it you can send a sample to blackstone so essentially you go to blackstone's website you give me your address and they will mail you a little container that's got everything you need in it So they give you all kinds of good things in here. So obviously you got the main container, you ship it in and you get the little plastic bag that you're supposed to put the other container in, your little sample container, um, a little piece of something. I don't know what you'd really call this fiber or something to put it in. Um, you get your little, your little deal that uh, you can put all your information on. Um, obviously mine has got information on it now because when you send your sample in you can actually check the box that says send more samples and 
there you go. We are in and you're in business. And it's pretty simple. Oh, one more thing they give you. Come here, you. One more thing they give you is a nice little oil change reminder. So if you got it for your vehicle or whatever, there you go. There's your oil change reminder and everything. So do I think you need to have your oil analyzed? No. I did this anal analysis mainly just because I kind of wanted to know. And to tell you the truth, if I wasn't doing motor vlog and wasn't uh, looking for content, I probably would have never sent this in. I kind of sent this in partially as I wanted to see what it was going to do. And also I wanted to have some content for the blog. So I will say this though, if you really want to understand what's going on in your engine, uh, I would definitely recommend getting these samples. That's for sure. And there's different ways to do it. Obviously, I did mine when I was changing oil. Uh, they have equipment you can get, they have tools that you can get from them, like hose and a little, what they call, well, I don't know if they call it a vampire. In the Army, we used to call it, for, for all you Army guys, you remember AOAP, um, you can pull it out without changing oil. And if you want just a quick sample on it, if you want a good, true picture of what is really going on with your engine oil, then yeah, you probably should send the sample in. Uh, especially if you're going to be one of these so-called oil experts that uh, that goes on and on about how great their oil is, but uh, you don't have any numbers to back it up, well then you're just some guy just saying things on the internet. So, which is no better than me, but I actually got some numbers to back me up, and I'll actually include the report. I'll actually create a little link and I'll put it at the end of this at the end of this video so you can take a look for yourself. Once again, I think. There is something to this AMSOIL stuff. I'm gonna keep running AMSOIL. That report gave me no reason to think that I need to not run AMSOIL. Had it come back just normal, you know, say, yep, this is what normal 8,000 mile oil looks like, then I probably would have switched back to the synthetic, send another sample and see what happens. Uh, I'll probably go, if I, especially if I can get to 10,000 miles on this oil change, I'm gonna send it back into them again because I wanna see, okay, what does it look like at 10,000 miles? Once again, this is Clutch from the Sodak Motorcycle Blog. Wishing all you well. Envying all you guys that can still ride every day because let's face it, fall's coming here and winter's gonna be here soon and there ain't gonna be no riding for a while, I'm sure, eventually. But for you guys down south, enjoy your riding during the winter. Um, otherwise, we'll be sitting here in north patiently waiting for spring. Anyways, once again, I'm Clutch from the Sodak Motorcycle Blog. Remind you to keep your other side down and enjoy the ride.